What's up, boys and girls? This is Sector 477. Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. This is part 13. I apologize if my voice is cracking a little bit, um, but that's because I went and saw Iron Maiden the other night. So my voice is kind of shut. Anyways, anyways, we are at the Pilgrim Station. We're finally going to head to the Udalek Complex, or Udalek Complex, however you say it. Rabia, okay. And... You just follow the marker. It's not that hard to find. It's just right around the corner. Alrighty. Not there. And we're going to get some ebooks while we're there. And over the next couple of videos, you know. And there's about 10 ebooks. So we're going to we're gonna complete the, uh, the uh, complex in a couple of videos. Maybe two or three. So this is an old puppet shop. And there's nothing here. At least not in here. But once we go through the doorway and everything, there's about three levels. <clears throat> you can loot everything from the first level, whatever's there, you know, stuff you can sell. And then there's a vent that you can that you can go in, and it'll draw, it'll get you down to the like basement level. There's more stuff to loot down there. And then when you come back to this level, you can jump up onto the ceiling, and there's a couple things up there. But uh, we're getting ready to come to a quite a quite a bit of a cutscene, so I'll shut my trap, and I'll be right back. There's got to be another way. And that... Look, I gotta go. I'll call you later. Problems? Nothing I can't handle. We're just waiting on chicane. So tell me about this new lead, then. The Intellicam footage. State police dropped it off this morning. Badly corrupted. But Cheng worked his magic and managed to recover some images. They show an org in a yellow hoodie, dropping bags where each bomb went off. You ran facial recognition? Got an ID? Couldn't see his face. But the bags are the same ones used by Talus Rucker and his aid workers in the Utilet complex. That's a stretch. Three bombings in Prague in six months, Jensen. All of them after the leader of Ark took up residence in that ghetto. Rucker needs to answer for these attacks. Here's your cane now. You're right on time. Agent Jensen was just agreeing that we need to bring Rucker in. Quick snatch and grab. Should be easy now. So we've already decided he's guilty? We just need to talk to him on our terms. Not when he's surrounded by fanatics. Getting into Gollum isn't the problem. Reaching Rucker is. Ark territory is fiercely defended. No one sets foot in there. Not even the state police. They can't. Rucker wasn't forced into Gollum City. He bought his way in. Blackmail would be more apt. He threatened to go public with evidence of a humanitarian crisis. One that the United Nations Security Council had swept under the rug. Got them to force the Czech government to hand over part of the Utilek complex to him. A little bit of hush real estate, so to speak. He stays quiet and guarantees safety for himself and his followers. Smart. So how do I get in? I've made a deal with an Ark prospect named Tibor Sokol. Promised to get his family out of the complex, so long as he gets you past Ark's checkpoints. You trust him? We have to. It's that or nothing. Sokol will meet you at an apartment in the housing district. Number 237. Any questions? You ask me. Rucker sounds more like a savvy politician than a terrorist. These days, the lines tend to be blurred. But Rucker was a highly respected doctor, with no military training. What am I missing here? Rucker is a man of deeply held convictions, with an unshakable belief in his own righteousness. Doesn't take much to push a man like that to terrorism. Man's a zealot. He's a suspect. Just bring him in. You really 
believe Ark is responsible for these attacks? For all of them? Ark has had the means, motive, and opportunity every time. Even Dubai? Rucker and the Coalition are still confined to Gollum City. They have a heavy police presence keeping an eye on them. Gollum isn't a concentration camp. You grease the right palms, you can get the papers you need to come and go. I find that hard to believe. So get me the evidence to prove otherwise. Get to Talos Rucker and bring him in, Agent. Let's get this over with. Let me know when you've got Rucker. Oh, damn, Jensen. Every time I look at you, I can't believe the amount of jewelry you've got on. Tell me, how's that aftermarket shit working out for you? Never better. Maybe you should reconsider. What with that limp? No. I like my limp. It keeps me honest. I'm ready to light out. You're my only backup on this one. Before we leave, I'd like to know you've actually got my back. Trust me, I flew 10 years in the SAAF and 5 in the private sector moving corporate heads. And in all that time, I've never lost a fare. How many years with TF-29? Two, which is a year and a half longer than you from what I understand. So you want to keep talking resumes, waste more of our time? Or will you trust me to get the job done? Let's do this. Good. Strap in. Interesting pre-game ritual you've got there. You getting pissed enough to end this guy yet? I got a no-kill order. Is that right? Would have thought he'd done enough to warrant extreme prejudice. How far out are we? Coming up on it now. Not many spots I can set her down. Go to preference. Get as close to the ground as you can. I'll take it from there. Whatever you say, boss. Jensen, still got all your parts together? I'm fine. How close did you get me to our contact's location? I was in Unit 237. Jesus, Jensen. I didn't put you on his doorstep. Residential sector should be just ahead of you. Me, I'm gonna switch to autopilot, have a coffee. Let me know if things get interesting. Okay, so I don't know why I'm jumping up here. Anyways, you want to go straight, and then you're gonna encounter this dickhead. Where's Ratchet? Sorry. You're a jerk, you know that? Anyways. You want to follow the marker around. I take this ladder first. Because there's a couple things you can get up on the second level before you go down there. Alright. If you go over here. There is some ammo. EMP ammo. Pist oh no, that's regular pistol ammo. Anyways, eventually you're going to come to here and another cutscene. I'll be back. Sorry to bother you, but I'm here to see Soko. He's expecting me. Which one? My husband Dushan or his foolish brother Tibor? I guess it doesn't matter which one. 
The police took them both to the Narrows to talk to them for information they do not have. It's been a rough day, especially here. I can see that. But maybe I can help. What happened? All I could care. My husband is gone. Tibor said he had a way of getting us out of Gollum City. A contact with... Wait. Who are you? I'm the contact. Then maybe there is a chance. There's always a chance. I'm sorry. Normally they only take Ark members. Tibor is Ark. He has been taken before. But now, after the bombing, they come for Tibor. Dushan, he asks why, and then... They take my Dushan. He has done nothing. Nothing. Do you know where they were taken? I told you already. The Narrows. Instead of asking stupid questions, why don't you do something? Don't just stand there. They need help. Please. Yeah, right. You can go ahead and search for stuff around here, but there's nothing in this apartment at all. So, what you want to do is you want to follow the marker a little bit, but don't go down the stairs yet. You want to go to the unit that's ne right next to this one, okay? Which is obviously on the left-hand side. We got a problem. My contact's been swept up by the police. <laughs> but I heard about cops and Gollum, Jensen. Your Interpol ID won't get you any kindness with them. That's all right. I didn't bring it with me. They're holding him in a place called the Narrows. I'll contact you after I find him. So you want to turn around? I said turn around. And they said you want to go all the way over to the left-hand side. And then you'll see the number on the door. That's not it. It's over on this side. 000125. And we're going to pick up our first ebook here in the Utilite Complex. And there's other stuff to, uh, you know, search. Make sure you search all the cabinets and all that stuff for crafting parts and, you know, software and all that kind of stuff. So, so now what we want to do is we want to head down to the Narrows and we're going to talk to this idiot. That's a catchy name for, what, a makeshift staging area for your Gollum City op? Aren't you a smart one? Tell you what, smart guy. Keep moving or I'll make sure you regret it. I need to talk to someone you're holding. Tell me, what's the going rate for cops in Gollum City? You're making a very dangerous assumption, my friend. You think every cop in Gollum City takes bribes? But, out of curiosity, how much are you thinking? How about one credit? Oh, you're a real funny one. Why don't you get the fuck out of here before I call some friends and we can really have a laugh? <laughs> so I guess he didn't find that very humorous. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> I wasn't about to give him a credits, a thousand credits. Screw that shit. So there's some pistol ammo over here. This is an unrestricted area, so you don't have to worry. But we actually want to go over here and move these boxes. we got to get in there. So we're just going to deck. Well, first, I was just checking to see if there's anything in here in this little area. And there isn't. Now... This dude, for some reason, sees me right away. And he gets suspicious. Right about here. Yeah, right there. It's like, ah, okay. All right, well, guess what? There ain't nobody around here to see this. It's weird, because normally he uh, will bring him... I mean, I was cornered. Kind of hiding. So I better move this buddy in here. Get in here, you. And he had some some ammo. I can't pick up any more of that, though. Combat rifle ammo. But I better drag him a little bit further in. 
Well, yeah, anybody walking by, if they happen to walk by, they won't see him. Now, there is a guard just sitting here. So, I was going to get something to throw, and I'm like, eh, you know what? I know what I'll do. I'll go ahead and go over here, and I'll just go ahead and just cloak and uh, take a route. Because that's what I do. Oh, well, I gotta get in front of her. Okay. And you're dead. Now, we don't have to worry about anything over here, because, I mean, that's pretty much all there is on this side. Alright. But, I'm bringing her body around. I don't really make a difference where I put it anyways. And then I realized, well, wait a minute, I don't need to stay ducked. And, yeah. So eventually we're going to talk to uh, Tibor, which is right here. Hey, brother, watch it. The cops are everywhere today. I noticed that. Are you Tibor? Yes, you're late, Interpol. I know. I spoke to your sister-in-law. She told me what happened. Alua, is she all right? It seems like she can take care of herself. <sighs> yes. She can. You know, you know I can't help you. It's too dangerous now. Tibor, I can get you out of here. And then what? They go back to my housing unit and take me again. And what if you're not there? No, no. Please, that will just make it worse. They know who I am. They, they went after my family. Interpol has promised to get you and your family out of here to safety. Safety? There is no safety. Only tyrants who prey on the weak and the innocent. All right, Tibor, listen. I understand why you can't come with me, but I still need to get to Rucker. Or what happened to you and your family today will happen to others. I'll smooth it over with Interpol. Is there any other way you can help me? There's a man, a smuggler, Louis Galois. He imports items for Talos, Neuropazine, whiskey. He could get you in, but you'd have to do him a favor. He likes favors. That's something. Any other ideas? My key card to get to Ark territory is gone. One of the cops took it. Probably still has it on him. Thanks, I'll look into it. Please, I know you don't owe me anything, but if you see my brother Dushan, help him. If anything happens to him, Adela will kill me. Of that, I have no doubt. I'll see what I can do. Chicane, get a message to Miller. Sokol's backed out of the deal. Why am I not surprised? He's just looking after his family. Besides, it's not a complete wash. He gave me some options on how to get into Ark on my own. Well, just be careful, Chinson. This arsehole obviously can't be trusted. Let me know when you're in. So from his holding cell, you want to go all the way to the end of the hall and make a right through this door here. But you got to be careful because there's a couple of security guards right there. So you got to wait till they break up so you can take them out. Wow, what a racist bitch. Well, guess what? Will you decide? Come on, now. come on. I couldn't get away from the wall for some reason. Sweet. Now there's a box right next to me. Um, where there's a kind of a hole in the wall. All right, she's gonna sit up there. Yeah, might as well search these drawers where I'm right here. Okay, she won't see me. Yeah, oh, it was empty anyways. So you want to go through this little hole down here? What are you doing? Come on. There's nothing over here. Hey, go through there. Okay, we're out of the restricted zone. We will actually want to go all the way to the end. Of the restricted area. 
and I notice that there are two guards in there now. What are you doing? Come on now. Decide what you're going to do. So what I have figured uh, I was like, well, hmm. I could sneak up on them, or... Wait, why don't I just trank these to that, too? You need that tranquilizer rifle. Come on. I haven't used that in a little bit. It's always fun to use. It was swaying a lot more than I remembered. Hey. Apparently, that wasn't good enough. And... I thought that that was someone else. And here she was already getting tired, but I didn't have to shoot her twice. I'm like, well, that's okay. She's sleeping. So I was waiting for the other one. I'm like, well, I guess that's not going to happen. Put that away. I could have just hopped over the counter. I don't know why I did that. Either way, I still got a cloak to get through the lasers. Heh. <laughs> Dummy. Anyways, I'm like, well, I better get this. Oh God, where's the other, where's the other guard? Ah, well, I better hurry up, drag her out of the way, so that way nobody. Oh no, I think somebody's coming. Oh yeah, they see me, and they're alerted. I better get my weapon out. Yeah, just get your uh, your trusty combat rifle. Should only take one shot. Nice place shot, which actually kind of was a multi shot. <laughs> that. that should do. Come on. There ain't nobody left. Go. Peace. Eh, of course, she didn't have nothing. Anyways, you want to go all the way to the end here. And, uh, what are you doing? There's nobody left. Get the hell moving. Hurry up. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Oh, Jesus, I was waiting for the panic to end. That's what I was doing, sitting there. I don't know why I'm just... It's like, who cares? Okay, it reset. Let's go. Come on. Anyways, there's a credit chip, and of course there's the e-book. Oh, a couple of credit chips. Nice. Alrighty. Now we get the next ebook. Just wanna if you wanna go all the way to the end of the room, on the right hand side, there's a vent you can break. Now you wanna make a left here. Okay. And the reason why uh I mean, you wanna be careful too because <laughs> there is a gas mine here, so kinda of sneak up on it and hit squares as soon as it lets you. I didn't bother picking it up because my inventory was full at the time. But there is another ebook coming up here, but Otar's gonna get a hold of us. Okay, so if you're having trouble finding this ebook, it's right next to a box of carrots. You can really can't miss it. And then you want to go up these stairs that are pretty much to your left from where I was standing. And there's a room right here you can hack. And the reason why? Well, there's another ebook in here. That's only like a level 3 security, I think. And here it is right here. Also, to your right on the shelf, there's a triangle code you want to make sure you grab. All right. So now I want to fill up on a little bit more health and my bio cell, and I'll be right back after this cutscene. This is a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting any customers today, given the unpleasantness outside. Are you Louis Galois? I am. If this is a referral, may I ask which of my customers was impressed enough to recommend me? Tibor Sokol. Ah, poor Tibor. But how may I be of service?
Let's talk about the Diwali crime family. Who are they? They're the people running organized crime in Prague. Their second in command is a man named Otar Botkavelli. Heard of him? No. I'm sorry, I haven't. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping you could tell me why he wants me to kill you. Shit! He wants me dead? Drunk son of a bitch! Sounds like you're starting to remember him now. Yeah, yeah, Otar. He just slipped my mind for a moment. That's not the only thing slipping. Fine, smart guy. I work for Otar's boss, the head of the Diwali family, Radic Nikolazi. I spy on Otar's activities for Radic. Shit, I just realized the other Pachyan, Constantine, he died in the train station bombing. You're thinking Otar wants to get the second spy, you, out of the way and make a move against Radic. I'm sure he'd love that. Those two have had their own private Cold War going on for years. But still, getting rid of me and Constantine wouldn't be enough. Otar needs to gather more support in Prague and in Georgia. But he could do it. The only thing keeping him from consolidating his power is... Well, me? But you're not really planning to kill me, are you? Sorry, Galwa. I gave Otar my word. Then let's get this over with. Time to take out the trash. Kill him, like I promised. And I'm like, oh, I better get some, better get in hiding. And then I see a gun in my head. I'm like, whoa, hold on here. Forget about that guy standing right behind him. So now it's like, okay, let's get a revolver rep. Nice headshot there. So, of course, there's another guard. Oops. I accidentally held in L3. So now, there's one more guard. She's shooting at me. So I went ahead and grabbed some health and some and another bio cell just in case I need it. So I'm waiting for her to come back. I mean, come on. I'm like, here we go. Here's my chance. Oh, I don't want to switch weapons. Here we go. Oh, you suck. So eventually, she doesn't come back over, so I decide to uh, go ahead and cloak. She's still slow. And how did she see me? I mean, come on. <sighs> Anyways, we are coming to the end of this video. We will be back in the next video, which will be Deus Ex Mankind Divided Part 14. But until then, this is Scyther4077 saying take care and cheers so long. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, suggest. But most importantly, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next vids. Bye-bye.